about me. Yes, ma'am. It still be about who my mama and dad. So your mama and your mama was grandma. Mamie father. Mamie Lee. And your daddy. On my mama's side, on my daddy's side, my daddy was Jugurtha Sebastian. You see, you ain't missing none of the Sylvester. Okay, tell me about the Sylvester's. That was my daddy. Did you go to Sylvester? Mm-hmm. And what was his daddy's name? His daddy was Albert Sylvester. And his mama? His mama's name was Ophelia. Ophelia. Burton? Sylvester. Yeah, she was Burton. Ophelia Burton. Sylvester. She married Sylvester. Okay. But when you grew up at 31, 34th and State, 31st. you stayed with Aunt Gold, Aunt Trudy. Aunt Trudy. My mom and my dad, Brady was born around and living at 31st and State. Oh, what what age were you when Uncle Blaze was born? Twenty. No, I was born, Blaze was born in nineteen forty eight. I was eighteen years old. Cause I graduated from high school when, when I was seventeen. Seventeen years old, and so he was born at twenty, and he was, and you lived with him, and he was born in your parents' house. Right. Got you. And then there was also a Miss Mary Jane that stayed with y'all. There was a friend that made day, Miss made day. She's a friend. Okay. What's your um your fondest memory as a child? My fondest. Mhm. Mm I guess we were all was in the wagon going to and fro to town. Every Saturday we go to town, every Sunday we go to church. Oh. And this is in Arkansas? This is in Parkdale, Arkansas. What church did y'all go to? Zion Hill. My daddy was a superintendent. S superintendent of what? Sunday school. Oh, really? What do you remember what they did for a living? We farm. We plant cotton and farm. Everybody? Yep. Everybody. Was this when uh, y'all got paid for it? Yeah. Okay. Do you think that that you all were paid well or no? No, we wasn't paid well. That's when my dad left there. Oh. So you all left Parkdale to go to Chicago for better, better living, better wages, better everything. Did you like Chicago when we when you moved here? Yes, we loved it. <laughs> Big city. Yeah. What was it like growing up in your family? We were happy because all of us were together. We were one big family. Everybody stayed together, ate together, got up together, went to bed together. Together, together, together. together. I'd rather for all the family to be together than to be apart. Hmm. You think things are different now? Yes, things are very different now. Families are not together. Why do you think that is, Grandma? Don't get up together, don't go to bed together, don't work together, don't eat together, don't do nothing together. Hmm. That pull the family apart. Mm -hmm. Now, South, everybody worked together every day, got up together, had breakfast together every morning, 
had gathered together every evening, went to town every Saturday, went to church together every Sunday. What a family. Why do you think it changed? The children got grown and they mm. wanted better, better for their children. Mm. Did not go to church together no more. Didn't go to town together no more. Hmm. It's a good point. The parents did not go to school to see about the children anymore. Mm hmm. Hmm. Just too far apart. Hmm. Do you think we'll ever come have a time when we back together as families? Things will be better. Mm. What was your favorite game as a child? Jump and rope. Jump and rope. <laughs> uh, what was your favorite food? Or favorite food as a family or both? Well, my mother cooked breakfast and dinner every day. Every morning we had syrup, pancakes and syrup for breakfast. Mm -hmm. and every evening we had dinner together for peas, beans, and greens. Did you have greens every day? In the spring and summer. That's what you hit is you grew the garden. Whatever you grew in your garden, that's what you ate. Ah. We raised chickens. Really? Yeah, everybody had chicken every Sunday. You put that chicken up and that chicken get fat. Because Sunday, that's Sunday's dinner, that chicken. Wow. So you didn't eat meat through the week? Or eat chicken during the week? No. So during the week, it was just whatever you grew? Most of them dried meat. Because you dry it, you kill the hogs in the winter, mm -hmm. and smoke them to keep them from rotting during the winter. And that's the meat you ate during the winter. Mm. Okay. What were some of the, um, what advice would you like to give to the youth today? To be more loving and kind to themselves, mm -hmm. each other, and everybody. Go to church. Everybody go to church and live by the Ten Commandments. On the God should not. Speaking of the Ten Commandments, uh, what are some of the the words of wisdom or proverbs that you live by? God should not steal. God should not kill. God should not commit adultery. You're about to take a What were, um, what keeps you standing, Grandma? Prayer. Prayer. As you know, you've always been one of the strongest women I know. The 23rd Psalm, the Lord my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me ride on the green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul, he leaves me the path of righteousness for his brain's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. For thou art with me, thou rod and thou staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare the table before me and present my enemies, thou nut my head with oil, my cup burneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Twenty third Psalms. It's amazing you remember all of that. How old are you now, Grandma? Number three. Thirty. I mean, eighty-nine. Eighty-nine. Eighty. I, I try to remember that twenty-third song every day. Really. And the Lord's prayer every day. Our Father who art in heaven, how be thy name? My pastor taught us that. He said, "Don't never say you can't pray. Hmm. You can always say the Lord's prayer. Hmm. The prayer that Jesus told taught his disciples to pray." Mm -hmm. Our Father who art in heaven, how be thy name, the kingdom of come, that we be done, the earth is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Mm-hmm. Live by the Lord's prayers. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's good. What was the biggest thing or that you learned from your parents? Do unto others as you have others do unto you. That's a good one. What was the best time of your life, Grandma? I guess that was the best time. We did the <laughs> Lord's Prayers and the 23rd Psalms. The Lord's Prayers live by those. Mm-hmm. What was the most challenging or the hardest time of your life? You're a genius, aren't you? All these guys trying to sweet talk you to give us a little crumb of information? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the high point of my life. Better than shooting those people in cold blood, you little reptilian geek. The most happy time was when my mom and dad, we knew our mom and dad loved us. Mm-hmm. My dad always said, we love you, we love y'all, we love y'all, y'all know we love you. He said it a lot. The way they live and the way they act. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My dad taught us, don't be scared of the dark. Mm. Anybody going to bother you, going to bother you. <laughs> don't be scared of nothing. Don't be scared of nothing. What else did grand, great uh, grandpa Jacoby Sylvester teach you? And your great and your mother, maybe Lee Sylvester. Be good, do good. Be good. Do unto others do you, others do unto you. Um, how did you meet your husband, Grandma? We had a party, we went to a party. And what did you all do on the first date? We danced together, it was a party, we danced together. Mm-hmm. We all had a date after that, didn't you? Yeah, we went to a nightclub. Went to oh. a nightclub. So you met dancing, and your next date you went dancing. Yeah, we went to a nightclub. I think we danced in muddy water, stomping the hole in the wall. <laughs> what was the song? You remember? I was asking you about great grandma Mamie Lee Sylvester and your ghost Sylvester. What did they like to cook? What did they cook a lot? Was it any baking going on in the house? No, we had neck bones every day. Neck bones every day. Yeah. These little neck bones and green. Greens, cornbread, neck bones. Every Sunday we had chicken. Steak, rice, and gravy. Chicken, rice, and gravy. Mm-hmm. Did Grandma, did Papa's mama bake? Under coercion. She got to cook my grandpa something sweet every day. He said a bite of sweet would make my meal complete. Who would say that? My grandpa. Did you go to Sylvester? His name was Albert Sylvester. Albert Sylvester. My, my daddy, daddy. And he said a, a bite of... A bite of sweet to make my meal complete. <laughs> And my grandma had to cook some sweet for him. It was mostly to be bread pudding. Bread pudding. Bread pudding? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who in your family taught you how to make them pies, Grandma? My mama. Okay. Taught you how to make the sweet potato pie. Yeah. Just, just by cooking sweet potato pies. Mm-hmm. Did you make the best sweet potato pie, Grandma? What's the ingredients to your sweet potato pie? Butter, eggs, and sugar. Butter, egg, and flavor. Mm-hmm. Put some milk in. That's all. Mm-hmm. Same thing you put in the cake. Okay. Sounds good. When uh when when did you and Papa decide to get married? Like did you who proposed? Well, I got pregnant, and I told him, we're going to get married. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to get married. Oh. 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma what's your first memory of your wedding day? That's the last question. Um, what's my favorite of my wedding? What? Favorite memory of your wedding day? It was a sun was shining bright and pretty. Oh, it was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful, beautiful. Somebody knocking. I'm coming.